the Indian presidency. Uh, and I would say that there, in this first session, there's been a very strong call for the reinforcement of multilateralism and confidence in our joint ability to uh, cooperate and to work together to face global challenges such as climate change. The discussion this morning has very much focused on this. Um, on top of, of course, welcoming the African Union, joining the G20, uh, and congratulating the Indian Presidency for their excellent leadership during this year. Uh, and in this first session, we have uh, there was a, a joint agreement to fulfill the commitments taken at Paris and in the different uh, international summits, and to continue to make progress uh, to meet our targets in terms of climate action. Uh, there was a joint commitment to contribute to the up coming COP28 uh, uh, meeting and to deliver on our environmental and financial commitments uh, in order to ensure that we uh, effectively meet the targets that I hope will be set in the, in the communique tomorrow uh, to treble the uh, deployment of renewables throughout the world and to reach in 2025 the peak of CO2 emission and pursue thus the path towards decarbonization of our economies. Thank you very much. What have you heard of this Thank morning you. during this, uh, the, the week question about Saudi Arabia uh, willing to include uh, fossil fuels in, uh, in the transition? Have you heard of what was the debate about this morning? I would like to many, make uh, comments on the detailed discussions which are ongoing to close the communique. Let me just share that I hope that we will issue a communique with a very strong message of joint commitment to meet our climate action targets. Thank you very much. I need to leave. Thank you very much.